What's up everybody and welcome to the personal assault weapon as you can see we have the weapon right here It basically adds in this little weapon that you could change in all kinds of ways You could basically modify it in what it shoots almost entirely and it basically it adds in like a really cool versatile weapon to the game So at the workbench is really where this weapon shines you're gonna find it at different vendors So I'm not gonna show that but basically what you can do is when you get the weapon You'll actually find it most of the time like this and it's standard form with a slug round although obviously there is some modifications and variations about how you find it in the wild as you can see this is doing a lot of damage and it is more or less kind of like a shotgun styled gun so right now we do have you know some of the basic features of it but where this weapon really shines again is right here so this is the bulk of it and basically what you could do with this gun is change it to any of these different projectile types so obviously a slug round is going to be a single large like projectile doing a lot of damage as you can see if we go to the flechette round it'll fire a bunch of really small projectiles kind of like if you think a normal shotgun one that uh, you know i don't know how else to describe that basically a normal shotgun that's not firing a slug now we do have the grenade, which is just basically a grenade launcher, and uh, that's that's really it. Nothing too crazy there. Then we have a sticky gren sticky grenade, and this one's really cool. Basically, you shoot a surface, the grenade will stick to the surface, and then blow up in a you know a second after that. Then we have the delayed grenade, and this is just basically it's the same thing as a grenade, except it has a three second timer. So if you shoot it wherever it lands, it'll land, or if it's in the air, it'll stay in the air, and then after three seconds, it'll blow up instead of just on impact. Then we have an incinerary charge, which is basically a portable Molotov or a projectile molotov and it'll more or less just shoot a molotov at people then we have a proximity charge and you throw shoot this on the ground and then when it's a mine basically once you shoot it on the ground so that's this one's really cool and then finally we have a uh, cluster grenade I was gonna say plus cluster uh, and basically this one just splits into most multiple projectiles that explode on contact this one seems to be a little bit glitched out I couldn't really get it to work but all the other ones work fine just this one I was having some issues with so it's hypothetically gonna shoot multiple projectiles that blow up but uh, I couldn't actually get it to work that way and I, I even if you look at the side there is no damage for it so I think it may just be glitched out when uh, compared to the others other than different like ammo types and things you could fire what else does this mod have it does have a few different barrels including a short barrel and a fluted barrel nothing too crazy there's just reusing some of the textures from other stuff in the game and I kind of like that about this mod it it looks simple and it's just putting together a gun from other gun parts which i don't know i think that's cool more more mod authors should do that because the concept of this mod is all the different projectiles which fallout 4 is kind of lacking a good mod that does this then we do have a full stock a short stock and a recoil compensating stock again nothing too crazy here everything's pretty standard a box magazine a quick eject box magazine and then a drum magazine but then we also do have a double drum magazine, which is going to be twice the size of a drum magazine, obviously. So this thing is a ton of fun when using the next fully automatic feature on this weapon. So yes, it does come with the fully automatic feature that is absolutely overpowered if used properly. And obviously you're gonna have to have some good ammo for this, but again, nothing too crazy. And then we have some of the different sights. It's all short sights, nothing long range because it's not really meant to be a super long range gun. And uh, I do like that he did remove the medium to long range sights. I know some people might not be really crazy about that, but I think it's a cool to like, you know, okay, you're using this gun as a shotgun-esque thing. So use it that way. So I do kind of like that. And then finally, we do have the furniture or like the handguard and uh, stock right there. And I guess hand grip kind of too. But uh, we do have two different mismatched furniture. So as you can see, we do have the brown and then the black and then the black and then the brown. And then we do just have the wooden furniture, which is both brown, synthetic, which is both black. And then plum, which is like, I, I don't really know. It's, it's like a mix between the two. It literally looks like you just put the two together slightly. I don't know. I don't really like this one. I do personally like the wooden furniture. I just think it looks the nice out of the bunch. So my two biggest complaints about this mod is well i'll show you the first one right here as you can see i have them all named well guess why because you can't actually tell once these things are in your inventory you can't tell what shoots what so as you can see if you look at them in my inventory right now you can see they all just say 20 millimeter and then different damage types but i have no idea unless i hit x on them and check out the current mods you can't tell what the hell these things do so i had to rename them uh to all the appropriate ones like they won't say cluster grenade it'll just continue with the normal name so I had to do it like this, but let's check out all the different ones right now. So I placed down a bunch of different raiders as test subjects, and we're going to try out uh, six of them so far, and then I'll show you the last two after that. I don't actually know 
what each are because I can't check. So this is the delayed one. So as you can see, as you shoot this one and then you wait for a second, do, 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 and then it'll blow up a little bit after. So this one's actually really cool because you can make fireworks. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you guys aren't super stoked about that, but I thought that was a cool, I don't know. I just was messing around doing this before and you could just kind of shoot them, try and make a smiley face. That was a horrible smiley face. I was actually doing it successfully before, but as you can see, if you actually shoot this to someone, it'll go over there. And then shortly, I, okay, so somehow it got over there, but again, you just shoot at the ground like so, it'll bounce a little bit because it is still a projectile, and then blow up and kill a bunch of enemies. So next up, we do have, I, again, I don't know, okay, so this is the flechette. so as you can see, this is like a normal shotgun, I'm sure I'm selling, or saying that wrong, but uh, yeah, so as you can see, it just shoots a bunch of little shots right there, so we actually shoot this guy uh, from close range, it'll do a lot of damage, but this one does have the worst range of the bunch, so from back here, it won't really do too much damage, these are some really weak raiders, that's why I took them out so easily, but uh, yeah, so we can kill the last two. So up next, we do have the just regular grenade launcher, so this is just a projectile grenade, nothing too crazy there, you you just shoot it and it's a grenade that blows up. I'm not going to shoot these guys because they'll all probably insta die and I don't think there's anything too crazy going on with this one. So this one is the incinerary one. So this one's actually pretty cool. And as you can see, it basically is just a Molotov. So the fire will stay for a second, but uh, it is pretty cool. It's definitely a little bit unique. Like we don't have any other weapons in Fallout 4 that really do this or none of the super popular mods have a projectile fire type weapon. So I do like this one quite a bit. And I think it might be my favorite out of the bunch. So up next we do have, I think this is the Slug. So this time upping the ante, I actually placed down some Legendary Raiders. And as you can see, it's just your normal Slug shotgun. Uh, well, I mean, if there is a Slug shotgun. But uh, yeah, nothing too crazy there. Just firing a single projectile that does a hell of a lot of damage. So as you can see, it actually has like almost a little explosive impact as you fire it down. It's kind of hard to tell. But as you can see, it has like a little, when you shoot it really quick, uh, a little like blip i don't know i don't know how to describe it so as you can see you can shoot the different enemies and do crazy stuff like that so last but not least we do have so as i was saying last but not least we do have the sticky one so this one's really cool um i'm not showing it the way you should be show oh whoops <laughs> the way you should be showing it but basically what this one's gonna do as you can see i made contact with the thing right there and then it'll blow up a few seconds after that so i like this one much more than de the delayed one because i don't know i just think it's a hell of a lot cooler but yeah so you could just kind of shoot them all around and they'll just stay wherever they land. Obviously, this isn't the best way to show this. It'll probably be better in a hallway or something like that, like a big pole. I could shoot the one up there. I, I missed it, not yeah. So we'll try that. Nope. Yep, there you go. And uh, as you can see, other than those two I missed, but this one will actually blow up on the pole itself. So if there are some enemies over there, rather than it bouncing, but I wanted to, or like if I wanted to go off in a second, but I didn't want it to bounce away, I could shoot it like so. So now I'm using the proximity gun. I did have to turn these guys on for it, but uh, I'm going to try and surround this guy with some of them. And they basically just act as mines that are kind of invisible. So if she's running in the wrong way, uh, I'm not going to be able to use them, but uh, as you can see, it, it kind of has that same sensor kind of thing that goes on. So uh, I'm going to try and place a bunch right around me and get these raiders to run towards me and uh, have them all go off. So I'll place down a bunch right there and we have to have them run towards me. But they don't seem to like to run in the direction of me. I've been struggling to get them to do that. Like they keep running around or just stay in cover or run that way. But uh, yeah, so obviously not the most practical. Okay, someone hit one. <laughs> but oh. Hello. Um, I'm not really sure what happened to this guy, but uh, yeah. So that's pretty much all of them. The only one left is the cluster grenade, which I did say before doesn't really work. As you can see, I just got hit with it because it hit me. I don't know. You could actually see where it hit me. So I, I'm not really sure what's going on with that one. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the different grenades in this mod. Basically, what I'm going to do now is go customize them, pick some of my favorites out, and try them in action. So armed with three different weapons, I did prepare for battle. Oh, I forgot the Brotherhood of Steel over here, but yes, I did prepare for battle. So all three of these are automatic and using some bigger magazines. But basically, I brought a flechette one, I brought a incinerary one, and of course, this one is automatic as well. I kind of wanted to test how far I could shoot this thing. And then finally, we do have the sticky grenade one, because that one is just a ton of fun. And again, this is the, all three of these are automatic, so I can shoot them a lot faster than before. And I do have the box magazine, which is 10 shots except this one i think is the double but yeah this is the double box magazine so i do have 20 shots and uh, i don't think are we seeing them blow up i don't think so maybe over there no but yeah so i did place down a bunch of ruthless trappers so with that let's just get right into it 
What the one complaint I do want to talk about with this mod is it does use the same exact ammo for all of them, and they all sound exactly the same. Even the flechette one, which I'm using right now, as you can see, as I mow down these guys. And I'm going to turn on the um, the Brotherhood of Steel in a second, so don't worry about that. But as you can see, this thing absolutely mows guys down when you are uh, getting into it, especially the slug ones and the like the shotgun ones. The grenade ones are cool, but you can't really get too crazy cl in close range. And I think this is where this weapon shines, obviously, as I was talking about that before. But uh, yeah, when you put it on the fully automatic mode, it does get pretty broken. So uh, I believe this is, yes, let's get the incinerary one out and let's start blowing these guys down. So as you can see, we could start shooting. I think I'm missing him almost entirely. So we could start shooting at his feet and we could burn him to death. Let's start turning on my settlers because why not? It'll make it more interesting more interesting video but yeah again so they all use the same ammo which is not super fun i'm not super fond of that uh choice i'm sure that could be something that could be updated in the future like maybe just crafting you know some of the different ammo like for the grenade what the hell is this guy doing i i don't i i don't even know he is super hard glitching out but uh yeah so again just using some of the different ammo and again uh the i wish there was a way to tell the difference in the sound i know that might be asking again a lot but I, I don't like that the shotgun one sounds the same as the grenade one even something as simple as just changing the sound of those two i think would go a long way so let's actually try the sticky grenades and uh where the sticky grenades are on three so let's start shooting the brotherhood of steel over here and see if we can't do any damage <laughs> so they're all going to be kind of delayed and as you can see now they i believe they are turning on me and beginning to shoot me because i did take both of them out but yeah, that double box magazine, or the double drum magazine, I, I was calling it a box magazine, does do quite a bit of damage. It is quite a bit of fun to use. So we can help out the trapper a little bit here, and just start destroying these Brotherhood of Steel. I believe these are knights, so they're not super powerful, but they're pretty strong nonetheless. But yeah, so if we switch back to the automatic flechette one, and, or I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm going to get some comments on that, I know it, but uh, he has a shotgun too, so he's kind of beating me up right now. But uh, <laughs> I can't reload, they're killing me too fast. Alright, so let's let's try this again, right here. And, oh, no, gotta, gotta stim pack up again. But yeah, see, like, that, that just sounds very unnatural. I think just switching that sound to the shotgun sound from Fallout 4 would be a lot better, because it's not really firing, you know, a, a grenade. Like, it sounds like it's firing a little grenade there, and uh, I don't know, I'm just not a huge fan of that. But I think, again, that's a pretty easy fix. So let's try and mow this guy down as well as the rest of them. And uh, we have about, I think, one or two more. Did I kill him? Yes, I did. So now let's finish him off. Let's go with the incinerary again because I was trying to see how far you could shoot this thing. And the incinerary is really funny because you could kind of, like, just burn people to death, I guess. Like, you don't kill them instantly, but then they're in, like, a fire rain of, like, five different incinerary grenades, which is quite fun. But yeah, so all around a cool mod, definitely adding a bit of flavor to Fallout 4. I'm quite happy with it. I think there's still one, but I'm not going to go find them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.